I thought I'd make a quick video on one of my favorite ways of doing due diligence when it comes to financial news. So with all of the different websites you could possibly go to to check on what's going on with different companies and different tickers and different stocks, biotech stocks, tech stocks, any kind of stocks. Instead of having to go to separate websites and checking all these different websites, one of my favorite things to do is actually, I have an RSS reader on my computer. An RSS reader is basically just a program that allows you to put in website addresses and it every time the website updates with new news, it pulls that information into the RSS feeder so it's all in one place. So the one that I'm using right now is actually, uh, it's a Mac version. It's a Mac, I'm using a Mac. So the program I'm using is actually a freeware. It's um, open source and it's called Vienna and it works really well. And so all of these items on the left here are the different websites I follow and pull information from. This is my market watch. I have two different um, news sources from market watch pulling. I have um, from biospace, uh, clinical trials from different phases. Let me open this up a little bit. Phase three, phase four, um, also any kind of earnings reports, new FDA drug and device approvals, IPOs, um, market watches, stocks to watch, and market pulse. And then these are the Bazinga websites that I pull from, from rumors to offerings to upgrades and downgrades. NASDAQ Trader is actually all of the, um, all of the uh, trade halts that come up. Um, instead of having to check the website every once in a while or have it up all the time, I can actually just, it pulls the, the trade halts. So like, for example, Malint um, was halted and so was, and the beauty is, is you can actually double click on these and it actually opens up the NASDAQ trader homepage and goes to exactly um, where it's pulling this news source from. So you can do that with anything, um, my fortune and then also um, MSNBC. So for example, let's take a look at um, Microsoft paid $26 billion for LinkedIn and then mostly left it alone. So if I click on that, it pulls up the actual news headline at the bottom. But if I double click on it, it pulls up a separate tab. And on the separate tab, I can actually read the news article. So I don't have to go to the website. It pulls everything I need from here. And the beauty is, is it can, you can just constantly add to it. Um, if I right click on it and go to Go Info, it actually gives you the link that it's pulling from. And it tells you all the basic information. But anytime I want to add a new subscription to my RSS feed, I just click on new subscription. And then I paste in the URL to where I want, um, want it to pull from. And then hit subscribe. Um, the only thing, the only caveat to this is that um, it has the website that you, you go to actually has to have an RSS feed available to pull from. And that's this little icon. It's, um, it's actually usually orange. And you've probably seen it on some websites before. So if you go to that website, you can actually click on their RSS feed icon and um, import. Actually, let's go ahead and actually let's go to one. Let me go to Bazinga. Because Bazinga has, uh, let's see, RSS feeds. I think Bazinga actually has a ton of RSS feeds. Uh, so here are the feeds for Bazinga. <coughs> and it has all of these from government regulations, to earnings, guidance, retail sales, buybacks, uh, short sellers, everything. So let's just go ahead and go to short sellers and let's click on that. So if I click on that, it'll ask me if I wanna open my app and of course I do. And then once it opens, it actually pastes that URL directly into my subscribe um, icon and then I click okay. And then boom, it's up here now. And so now I can see everything, it pulls up everything up from, I guess, up from the uh, the 18th of December up till today or yesterday. So it's just really powerful because I like to make things as easy as possible for myself, especially when it comes to due diligence because you can spend hours and hours on it. Um, aside from this um, RSS feed program, I use, um, I, I read the Wall Street Journal every morning and then Barron's every morning. And then I do, a, and I also have a, um, a subscription to Barron's Weekly, which comes out every Saturday, which I read on Sundays, just to get an idea of what's going on. 
And then my other news source is the actual news tab on the um, Thinkorswim platform, which is really important to look at. I've been, I've had more than one, one occasion where I didn't look at that news tab before I entered a position and then quickly checked it after I entered the position and knew immediately that I had entered the position in the opposite direction of what I should have done. Just that two seconds that would have uh, would have I would have taken to enter uh, to to check the news first. I would have um, I would have saved myself a lot of money. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to show you this because I know people like don't really like to do due diligence. It's a lot of information, and you can do like I said, you can spend hours on it. This makes things a lot easier when everything gets pulled into one area. And if you're if you're in a specific um, type of stock, like if you're only into cannabis stocks, or if you're only into tech stocks, or you're only interested in biotech, you can pull specifically from those websites so that you don't have to get a bunch of um, cannon fodder from stuff that you don't really care about. So anyway, I hope that helps you with DD. Oh, um, there are free RSS feeders for the PC. Um, I did a quick search, and the one that came up, if you have Windows 10, Newsflow is a free one, and it's got some pretty good reviews. And if you just do a regular um, RS, I can say, I can actually put the link, this link into the um, into the uh, blog post, which is what I'm planning on doing. This this video will be um, a part of a blog post. But um, anything that's you don't need to be you don't need to pay for an RSS feed reader. That's there's too many of them that are free. There's too much open source stuff nowadays. Um, it's more important to find one that's easy to use. Like I find, um, I find Vienna very easy to use. It's I like the fact that it highlights the ones that are new. Uh, it's it's just a very simple little hey, this is the headline. If you're interested in it, if I'm interested in it, I will double click it and open up. Like let's say I'm interested in this one. I'm interested in this one, and let's say I go to downgrades. And I want to read this one. So other ones I would just highlight. And just say, you know, I don't, I'm not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested. And then after I have all these tabs open and have everything cleared out, I would just go back through each one of these and read up on what I was interested in and then make notes on what I might be trading for the day or for the week. So, anyway, so I thought, I think that might be helpful for some people. And uh, like I said, Vienna, open source, free. And I will write up um, some links on some of the other feeders and some of the links on some of the um, feeds for different types of um, 